Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rin here back with another Borderlands 3 build video. And today I'll be going over my OBQ system Zane build called Ultraviolet Zane. This build focuses purely on the OBQ system drones. The OBQ system and the drones specifically get insane damage for me. I will show the damage formula on screen and go over it. With the OPQ drone base damage, we have about 40% of the OPQ system card damage. It's a bit weird, so we don't know the exact one, but it's about 40% plus overkill damage you have at that time, times your gun damage when you shoot, times shield amp, times picked up barrier amp, times toboggan amp, I tried doing stuff with the grounded barrier uh, with shooting out the drone projectiles but it doesn't seem to boost it or it's a weird angling thing but picked up barrier does benefit the base damage of the drones. You'll see all this amp damage is multiplied because all amp damage is multiplied with each other. Then we have the OPQ drone damage formula of the bullets. You have the one damage times V2 damage. This includes global and gun only, times crit damage, times debuff, times amp if it shoots through a barrier. It's a lot easier to do it with grounded barrier. And then you have the shock explosion damage formula, which double dips those normal global damage boost. This isn't relevant to the build, but it does get crit damage if it is activated uh, Mega Force skill for flak times shock damage and elemental boost damage times shock matchup so that's shock damage versus shields times splash because the explosion is splash damage times v1 times gun only and global v2 damage times debuff the shock explosion also procs on hit effects such as short fuse megavore and hustler and bonus elements apply to the um pellets and the shock explosion um, such as next to mags ac50 and global which is like revolter you rad in terra cryo the drones do not benefit from fire rate and extra projectiles spawn extra drones instead of extra bullets for drones the opq drones are also a bit weird you have to make sure to look at the enemies for opq drones to attack them otherwise they won't go after them um, there is some weird stuff with quickly looking at them and looking away and the OPQ drones can look at them But I usually will just look at the enemy until they're dead They also have a duration of 12 seconds after that they will expire They are not like um, Dark army drones where they'll stay forever until you swap so keep that in mind And they also have a health bar so enemies can destroy the drones uh, so you want to use cover and other stuff like barrier to protect your drugs from being blown up. Using this formula and interesting gear choices, we can make a super cool and unique build. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The save file will be found in my Discord, which is linked down below, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, and for the gear here, of course, we have OPQ systems. You will want next to mags with different elements on it with maximum damage. I have corrosive, shock, incendiary, and radiation. You could also go a cryo one if you want. I like to go with matching elements to whatever content, which has like the overall element. So like guardian takedown for the beginning, I'll usually use incendiary and then I'll go to shock. And then bossing I'll match element in Malamon takedown, I'll usually go corrosive. I also like to go radiation when mobbing for some nice red explosions. It just all matters the content. And then you can have some backup like fight your life stuff, like a needle gun. You can like throw one out if you need to, but usually either shooting the OPQ system or the drones will do enough. Um, I also have a free radical here you can use for fight for your life. And then we have an Inferno Wish. This is for the extra projectile and the amp damage. With double amp, you get 50%. Even without the amp damage up, Inferno Wish is still really good for the extra drone here. So even if you don't have the amp fully up, you can still shoot this and get good damage out of it for the um, extra projectile. We have Terror Ammo Regen since we need a good way to constantly return ammo because we are using a method of having over 100% 
max size to have two shots of OPQ drones so we can have the drones not go on cooldown. So we shoot it there and they respond and we still have the OPQ drone up. So we do not have to worry about that cooldown and can keep shooting it once we gain back a drone charge with ammo region and other stuff. And then you will basically just want any grenade. I like to use Mesmer, it's piss, but since we aren't really shooting anything, it does not matter much. Um, we could benefit from duct tape mod, but since how it works, it's after reloading and not the first shot. Um, you would have to reload the charges to have a chance to throw grenades. Um, if you did stuff with clone, which is a big thing I like, like Malawan Takedown, um, you could change some skill points up here and um, have clone throw grenades, but it doesn't really matter too much. But the main thing you want is to have any grenade with ASC applied tear for that ammo regen. And then a class mod I don't use much, but is still really strong is the spy. I really like using the spy here for the V2 damage since we don't have too much of it. Uh, and also some nice crit damage. We got crit damage here, and then Armin Flint having um, that V2 damage there while aiming down sights is really good because the only V2 damage we have here is assault rifle damage because of how the body parts work. But the main thing you want on this spy is the Armin Flint point and magazine size. Um, magazine size, you need it combined with the toboggan magazine size to have over 100%. Um, it does not work with Prey Mutinous plus Class Mod passive or Prey Mutinous plus Artifact passive. You need um, max size on both of these. And then the other options are crit damage, Atlas crit damage, but I mainly like to use splash damage and assault rifle damage. Uh, splash damage helps with the shock explosion and assault rifle just helps all around. Um, so I'd probably focus on assault rifle damage mainly and then splash damage. Splash radius can also be good. Um, other class mods you can use is an executor. It gives crit damage. So that's really good as well as some good skills. And then you also have anti-freeze for the BM damage. You get gun damage from that. So not as good formula wise since we already have plenty of gun damage from sliding around from violent momentum. But it is still a good class mod if you get one with good passives. It is still very very useful and then we have the toboggan for the amp damage for spawning drones you want to have at least mag size here and area of effect damage since the toboggan parts don't change it's a lot easier to farm um, part system here than compared to the class mod but still difficult you want magazine size 100 and then area of effect damage in the second or third slot and then either cooldown rate or movement speed is nice i like cooldown rate here optimally because it's weird to slide when you have too much movement speed. It gets a little weird with the run up. So that's why I have access skill damage instead of movement speed like I do here. The bogging parts are weird. So you can't have like heavy weapon damage or more like assault rifle damage and magazine size because they're both primaries on the bogging. Same with elemental damage. So primary, you can only have one primary on an artifact besides Atlas Company Man being weird. Atlas Company Man is a way to get around max size with 100% you get right here, but then you lose out on the 100% amp damage. So the toboggan is a 100% more worth it. And then the skill tree is really weird, which I like. We have Violent Momentum and Violent Speed here. Violent Speed to boost Violent Momentum. We have Cold War just to swap around. Um, the drones do not benefit from Cold War in any way. Um, just a nice swap thing. Then we have Salvation as the drones will proc back momentum. We don't go any reload speed since we don't need it. Um, we're not ever reloading even if you do shoot the OPQ system, which I will do if I need to like kill an enemy quickly, mainly like Guardian takedown with Guardians and Crystals. But uh, besides that, don't really need any reload speed since we still do have ammo regen for the regular shooting. Um, seeing red for activating kill skills. We have playing dirty for extra projectiles. We don't need too much here since we aren't shooting much. We have pretty much constant uptime on playing dirty. And then I have violent violence here. The drones do not get fire rate. This is basically a dump point. And if I need to shoot with OPQ system regularly, then violent violence comes in handy here. Otherwise, you can put those points in cold war and 
playing dirty, but I decided otherwise for just in case. And then I go three points in Good Misfortune. I really like the extra points um, in Good Misfortune for Barrier, so that's why we go three there. And then we go Death Falls close to boost kill skills. And then Red Tree here, we're mainly getting a lot of dump points, but also just for Super Sonic Man for extra movement speed. And then we have Borrowed Time for the extra action skill duration, really good with Barrier. And then Duct Tape Mod for the Splash of Unity. This is really nice for having the drones because they can still hurt us. Magazine size here is purely for us as the extra mag size is not helping us the OPQ drone mag size as we already have 100% getting extra doesn't help. This is purely for helping us as synchronicity basically does nothing when we have hundreds of gun damage already having like 12% 20% more gun damage is not going to benefit us at all. Then we have Donnybrook just for some nice health regen and some gun damage, I guess. Um, and then we have Super Sonic Man here. Now, purely for crystals, you can put points in Fractal Frags, Quick Breather, and Old U. You would have to take out a point in Super Sonic Man here for that. And then you can take a point out of Synchronicity in like Prey Mutinous or Donnybrook to go with um, Fractal Frags and Quick Breather. This is purely for crystals. Um, it helps a lot more having that aggro draw. Um, I don't have it here because I like to suffer. Otherwise, you don't need it. You would basically just, for crystals, swap out barrier for drone, and then go either Shadow Feud or which one's real, and Doppelbanger. You could even go Shadow Feud and which one's real since it's just for one certain spot. Um, you could possibly take Infernal Wish out for something else so Clone doesn't kill itself as much. You could do like a one shot or shield if you want, just whatever you feel like. It's mainly just crystals, which is weird and has more trouble in but still possible and then we go green tree here which is very interesting and actually has a very good use case first we have ready for action for shield recharge rate for keeping our amp shield up and then we have rise to the occasion for health regen to help stay alive brain freeze since we are able to crit for drones um sometimes we can freeze enemies a really expensive jacket here is really good for if we get dots applied to us because less Stat effect duration means less damage to our Inferno Wish. Since Inferno Wish has a huge max size, it's a pain to get back up. So if an enemy hurts us, then, and we are shield, shield is at zero, it's going to suck to get back up for that amp damage. We're basically gonna be using it just for the extra projectile. Um, so having that plus barrier with all rounder and deterrence field is going to stop enemies from hurting us a lot more than say if we go like clone, Enemies are still going to be hitting us a lot, um, and then we're also not going to be getting that clone bonus. And then Purple Tree, we go Deja Vu because that crit restoring ammo will apply to the drone max, so that's another way to restore ammo, but it doesn't purely just work alone with the max size, so we still need the ammo region because sometimes you may have a bad drone spawn, the bossing may not have good mobs. Um, you may just have bad stuff, and if you have that, then your life is going to suck a lot more. And then we go Hesman's Hands for the crit damage over, say, Commitment for the um, gun damage and cooldown rate. I can live without the cooldown rate, but the crit damage is really nice since I don't have any sources elsewhere besides Spy um, having it here. You can get some points in commitment from spy as well um, since the skills are less important besides arm and flint you could have a mix between commitment and hedgeman's hand there and then we have fugitive so we can shoot in sprint um, mainly nice for if we're shooting the um, opq system drone out without sliding and shooting um, which you'll see in the gameplay so we have that there and then the augments on here don't really matter much um quarter shoulders nice for um, brain freeze, but that's about it here. Um, brain drain doesn't matter. I just don't want wet work So you could literally just take this out wouldn't matter take this out wouldn't matter But I just have it here just because I just want to explain some choices as well with this weird skill tree You could take points out of red tree here I would not take points out of green tree and you could go down here and get like a racer and army flint um, Domino effect doesn't matter. That's one reason why we don't take it here because the fire rate doesn't boost the drones. Eraser is nice, but you can't really control it with drones. So it's more of like hope 
drones are doing stuff with the racer and benefiting from it. So the main reason you'd be spending a bunch of skill points is for our man Flint, which I don't find worth it over other stuff we can get here and then just get Arm and Flank with a class one. I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. This may not be the strongest and fastest build, but it's still super cool and unique and so viable. The double dipping of the shock explosion is insane and dumb when regularly shooting the OPQ system, but when using the drones, it's even dumber. Again, you can find the save file in my Discord, which is linked down below, as well as my other socials. If you haven't, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.